This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. It is time to understand how do plants obtain carbon dioxide from air and use it up for photosynthesis. So what we have to understand is that there are large number of tiny pores which are called stromata and singular is stroma. So there are large numbers of stromas or the stromatas on the surface of the leaves of green plants. The plants take carbon dioxide from air through the tiny pores present on the surface of the leaves. The opening and closing of stomata pores in the leaves is controlled by the guard cells. What are guard cells? The, you can see these two structures here which look like beans. These are called guard cells. See here also they have mentioned guard cells. What happens is that CO2 enters the plant or the leaf through these guard cells where it gets utilized in the process of photosynthesis and the oxygen which is produced as the byproduct of photosynthesis also gets eliminated from here that means from the stomata itself now the stomata pores of leaves open only when co2 is to be taken in and oxygen is to be released otherwise what happens is they are closed. You can see a closed matter here. Let us now understand that how do plants obtain water from the soil for the process of photosynthesis. Now clearly the roots of the plant absorbs water from the soil which is always present there. This water which is absorbed by the roots is transported to the leaves and this is done through the vessels which run like interconnected pipes throughout the roots, stems and branches. These tiny pipe like vessels which transport water from the roots of the plant to its leaves are called xylem. Here we also need to understand that during photosynthesis, plants would also need other minerals from the soil and produce other foods other than carbohydrates. So for example, plants may need nitrogen to form proteins. How will this nitrogen reach our leaf? What happens is, it, this nitrogen from the plant soil will get dissolved in water and it will be absorbed by the roots while absorbing water. So we can sum up by saying that water and minerals. Now instead of only water we will say water plus minerals which includes nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, whichever mineral is required. That means water and minerals present in the soil are absorbed by the roots and then what happens is that they are transported to the leaves through interconnected pipes which are called xylem vessels present throughout the roots, stems, branches and leaves of the plant.